Come on then. Take the first shot. Be my guest. Piece of piss. Come on, get up. Oh, well, let her get up then. He was one of our own. <laughs> I know it sounds corny, but me and Jim have got a lot to offer as parents. Foster parents. A lot of love. Just it's a bit sudden. I know it is. And it's important that you take all the time that you need to think. But what's the alternative? Care. Or some foster home you've no idea about. But if we take him... <laughs> We'll bring him in here every day. We'll use this place as a crash, more or less. You get to see him all the time. Yeah, I would, wouldn't I? There was another thing. You said you were in a council house before? Yeah, I lost it now, though, because I'm in here. So where will you go when you're released? I don't know. Social services, I'll never let you have Dylan unless you've got somewhere. If we take him, at least you know he's being well looked after while you get back on your feet. You have a chance to be a proper mum to Dylan. He'll know you. But, of course, you've got to do what you think's best. I just need some time to think about it. I know you do. But if we are going to do this, we're going to have to move quickly. Once social services get their hands on Dylan, you'll lose him for good. gonna kill your hero. Have you got that? So if you want to say goodbye, I suggest you do it now. No? Okay. You're gonna be dead in a week anyway. Catch up then, eh? <laughs>
you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I can't believe that you did that for me. Well, you'll be all right now. You're not going anywhere. You lot hear that? What happened to you? Nothing, I slipped. Need to look where you're going. It is the best thing for Dylan, isn't it? I really think it is, yes. Look, he'll thank you for it one day. When you're a family. Oh, God, I'm going to miss him. <laughs> well, you won't have to, will you? You'll see him every day. What do you want? To talk. I've got nothing to say. Look, there is no point in us being enemies. We can hardly stay out of each other's way, can we? It's not big enough. So you want to be friends now? Why not? How long have you got? Pat, I have already told you. I was set up. I'm not a nonce. Yeah, so you keep saying. Never occur to you that the more you come it with the hard nut top dog bollocks, the less everyone believes you were set up by anybody. I don't like you. But I don't want to be fighting you every other day either. So why don't you do your best to keep away? Look, we could run this place together. Not even Fenner could touch us. We'd be unstoppable. Jesus! You don't give up ever, do you? No. Not when I see something I want. And I won't stop until I get it. Oh. Oh. Get this straight, you little bitch. There's not one friggin' angle you can try that someone hasn't had a go at before. <clears throat> I knew you were gonna come at it with this before you did. That's how far ahead I am. The thought of it makes me want to puke, even without you being a nonce. Now get out of here before I break every bone in your friggin' body. I said get out! And I want Grayling told them diaries was a pile of shit. What? She's gonna die. I mean it. I'm gonna kill her and you're gonna help me. Message to come down here. Is Di Fenner about? What's going on? Jim, meet baby Dylan. Whose is he? How would you like him to be ours? I'm gonna meet my brother Clive and his baby just here. There's not gonna be no baby in that farm. There's gonna be a bloody big mallet. I'm going to smash it straight over Fenner's mm. Thanks so much for this. I can't tell you how much I appreciate what you've done for me. I'd be doing everything in my power to keep me sweet if I were you. You don't want your dirty little secrets coming out. You've still got some of Karen's stuff, haven't you? Yeah.